Shalom. Before we get started, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Sai, Bahasim, Ha, Rakar, Kadus. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutation to Yahakim across the four corners of the globe, preaching this gospel in truth and sincerity. All right, so uh, this uh, guy, Nick Cannon, all right, is making, um, well, they say anti Semitic. Uh, you know, anti he's being anti Semitic, which we all know he comes from the line of Sim, so he can be anti Semitic. But uh that's what happens when you're in the world and you attack the devil, all right? You attack the devil by uh revealing who he really is, which is the devil, right? So that's why they're coming down on all these celebrities, not just uh Nick Cannon, but all of these celebrities that that are coming out and saying that hey you black people are not black people. You are the Israelites of the Bible. All right? He's just telling the truth, but you're telling the truth, and these people are living in the world of lies. All right? So he's catching a lot of backlash, which, hey, you're going to catch a lot of backlash. You ain't the man of the Lord. You you done sold your soul to the devil for, uh, you know, for this, for this, for this, the life you're living. Okay? So you got your constellation, but... At the same time, he's coming out, trying to bring out this truth, trying to educate the, the, the people of our nation um, that they are the Israelites of the Bible, all right? But still, most of them have to come back and revert and apologize. Why? Because they don't fully believe in this word. They don't trust in Yahweh by Sim Yahweh's side, all right? They're just trying to be deep, and they trying to bring out what they know, but they don't really know, know too much. All right, Jeremiah 2 and 33. Wild trimmers die wild trimmers die thou way to seek love, you know. Therefore has thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways. And that's what these guys do, alright? They know these guys watching the elders and apostles of GMS on down, okay? These these celebrities, these these elite of this uh society, they watch uh, G uh, brothers from GMS starting with Elder Apostle Tahar on down, okay, to brothers young as like myself, all right. So they know what's going on, okay. But at the same time, when they put it out there, they got to retract it. Why? Because they're living in the uh, Esau's world. This is Esau's world, and Esau. Uh, most of these Amalekites are are paying these guys, and they're the one. They're the system behind a Nick Cannon. Behind a cash money. They're the sis uh behind whatever Oprah. This is the system that backs them. This is the system that allows them to do what they, they do. So you can't be out here going against the system. Alright? You can't be out here exposing these Amalekites, alright, which are the devil that the Bible speaks of. And you can't be doing that. Alright, you're in their world, so guess what? They're gonna come down you uh, down on you uh with hell. All right, but the men of the Lord, hey, guess what? We know we're going to be hated. We know we're going to be persecuted, and we're not going to be apologizing for it, okay? That's why these celebrities got to come back and apologize for every damn thing. All right, let's see. Let's start with Matthew chapter 10, verse 22. All right. Matthew 10 and 22, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endured to the end shall be saved. So the, the servant isn't as, as good as the master. If they crucified and tortured and persecuted Yahawasai, they're going to do that to his servants. All right. So Nick Cannon isn't prepared to go through the persecution for the name of the Lord Yahawasai. All right. He's just trying to be some deep philosophy that learns something about the, his, the Hebrew Israel, Israelites. But he really doesn't know shit. All right? And when tribulation come, he going to fold like some fucking, like he going to fold, okay? Like a piece of paper. Because why? He doesn't have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures to keep him stable. All right? With Lord willing, we going, we, the, the men of the Lord have that. Have the uh, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And when it's time to use it, guess what? We apply it to our life. 
All right, so he doesn't understand that. All right, so you're gonna be hated for uh, this word. I mean, if it was gonna be all peaches and ke uh, peaches uh, and cream, everybody would be doing it. All right, Luke six and twenty two. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. And when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil. See, they're calling you evil. Okay. For, for, uh, okay. Cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. See? So you should be rejoicing when tribulation come um, on you behind uh, the name of the Lord. Or behind Yahweh by Simeon Yahweh's size. You're supposed to be rejoicing. Why? Because we know that we're not better than the master. Alright? If Yahweh's side was tortured, uh, uh, beat, stomped, spit on, whipped... All kind of horrendous things have done to him. What do you think going to happen to his servant? All right. All right. It's a big possibility. It's a possibility that, hey, you can get killed in this troop. All right. And you need to meditate on that. Okay. All right. Now, we know that majority of the uh, elect is going to make it out, but there are going to be martyrs. Alright, so you ain't supposed to be surprised when when uh you get in tribu tribulation because of standing up for the name of Yahweh by Simeon Yahweh Sai, alright? And most of these uh celebrities they fold in the next 10, 20 minutes after they put up the truth, they gonna fold when these uh Amalekites get on their ass, all right, and make them apologize. And if you don't apologize, then we're going to play with your bag and let you know you're just a slave, a high-paid slave. And that's what they did with this guy, uh, Nick Cannon. They took away his soul, his bread and butter. Now, of course, he's making money from other ways, but this was his main soul, man. This been on for seven, eight years, all right? And they took it off because he revealed the truth, all right? He revealed... uh. Yeah, he revealed the truth. All right. First John 3 and 13. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abided in debt. So you shouldn't be over here wondering why these people hate me. Why am I getting all this backlash? You should already understand which Nick Cannon doesn't because he doesn't have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. They hate you for telling out, bringing out the truth. They hate you because you're an Israelite. They hate you, all right, because you're the chosen people of, of Yahweh by Simeon Yahweh's side. So marvel not. Don't be surprised that uh, uh, when these people come against you for telling the truth about your how about your house side, about your heritage, about where you come from, about who your enemies are. Because guess what? That's going to happen. All right? That's prophesied. It's prophesied to happen. And as you can see, all these celebrities that are coming out and saying, hey, we are the Israelites. We are the Hebrew Israelites. They're getting uh, persecuted. All right, and it's not for your how about some your house size because they're in the fucking world, and hey, the devil gonna play with their money, go play with them gifts that they that they did not accept it from them. So, fuck them. But we use this to uh, bring it out and filter these filter what they're doing through the scripture, so you can see what happened. All right, so the, the so the elect can see what's going on. All right. Uh, John 15 and 18, if the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you, all right, this is your house side speaking, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own, all right, and people love these celebrities, people like Nick Cannon, they love them, all right, and they don't have no problem with them until they start talking like this, talking this truth. All right, and then people like Nick Cannon got to come back and apologize, and you know, 
and all of that. But he tried to apologize, but they didn't want to accept it. They didn't even want to talk to him. They wanted to make an example of this nigga. They didn't even let him apologize. All right? They want to make an example of you niggas. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I but ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hate you. Yes, the world hate hate uh the elect men. Alright, because why? We preaching the same gospel that Yahweh was preaching when he walked the earth to over two thousand years ago. And they hated him. And they hated him so much that they put him to death for it. Alright? Yahweh was not all love contrary to you Christians. It was not all love. If it, if that was the case, then goddamn, why the fuck they killed him? Okay. All right. He was not all love. He was doing the same thing that the men of the law are doing, bringing out the truth, fucking uh, cutting you devils, cutting you uh, Israelites, all right, with that word. And you couldn't handle it, so you killed you killed him, and said, uh, "Let the blood be on you and his and and, and and your children." And look where that got us, fucked up. Fucked up, man. All right, Second Ezra two and forty-seven. So he answered and said unto me, "It is the son of 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 Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Sai, who they have confessed in the world." Then began I greatly to command them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. You know, and that's the men of the Lord. We're going to stand stiffly for the for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell thy people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power thy has seen. But the men of the Lord are going to stand boldly for this, for, uh, for this truth, man. We're going to stand boldly because we understand what's going on. We're not going to back down and backtrack and say, Look, man, I'm sorry. I didn't really, I didn't think about what I was saying and this and that. No, man. No, man. We're going we gonna to stand uh, boldly for this word. Definitely. Boldly for this word. All right. Let's see my uh, next precept. All right, let's go to Matthew 5, and we can start from around, I guess, verse, verse 10. All right, Matthew 5 and verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And who is persecuted for righteousness sake? The uh, the elect. The ones who are uh, standing up for Yahweh by Sim Yahweh side. Alright, boldly. Okay? These are the men that's getting persecuted. We catching hell right now. We've been catching hell. Okay? But Jacob's trouble is created for you two thirds. Alright? That's y'all hell. Alright? And of course, we're going to have mortars. They're going to be thrown in jail, thrown in consecration camps, uh, tortured, uh, and they're going to die for the, in the name of the Lord. It won't be, it's going to be much more uh, elect, most of the elect are going to make it on them chairs this time, okay? But we're going to have mortars, and you're going to be, uh, you know, you might die, but you're going to be the first one on those chariots, okay? So it's a win-win situation. 
Verse 10, Matthew 5 and 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is, the re is your reward in heaven. For so persecute they the prophets which were before you. See that? So the prophets that came before us were persecuted. So you're going to be persecuted. And through the spirit, you, you are those prophets that were before you in ancient time. Coming back in the reincarnation if you can receive that. Alright, so we are going to be persecuted. But we're not going to back down like I'm sorry and this and that. Fuck it, we don't have nothing to lose. That's what we gave up everything so we can serve your house by semi house side. So you can't fucking tell us you're gonna take away our C three C D uh C uh I think it's C three Sad man, fuck it. I'm Salakia. But you can't take away our treat, our goodies and treats, cause we ain't take none of your goodies and treats. You can't take us from your platform and take our uh take our fucking uh uh, TV show, take our, kill our movie career, kill our rap career, kill our book career. Because guess what? We're not invested in none of that shit. We invest in the spirit, not the fucking carnal things of the world. All right? We got to live in the world, but we're not of this world. So we don't give a fuck about this world. Okay? All right, Nick's, uh, Nick's uh, precept is... Uh, 1 Peter 4 and verse, let's see, verse 12. Beloved, thank it not strange concerning the fiery trials which is to try you. Yeah, you're going to catch all kind of hell in this truth. As though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as so much as ye are partakers of Amasiach's suffering. See, we're going to suffer uh, with Yamasiach, Yahawasai. All right. Because the servant isn't greater than the master, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may uh, be glad also with exceeding joy. All right, because we want we want to be a part of that glory. We don't want to uh, die here in the second death in the lake of fire. We want to be on those chariots, the hopeful men of the Lord, Lord willing. Verse fourteen: If ye be reproached for the name of Masiach, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh's side rested upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. You see, we want to glorify Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh's side. All right, you know. And, and hey, if if we gotta die, hey, that's what it is, man. If you got to suffer for this truth, hey, that's what it is. You glorify and, uh, and be happy that you got to suffer for Yahweh by Sim Yahweh's side. Uh, verse 15, but let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as a evildoer or as a busybody in other man's matter. Yet if any man suffered as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him uh, glorify Yahweh by Sim Yahweh's side side on this behalf okay so we supposed to be glorying and, and, and when these devils come against us we supposed to be happy man we're not supposed to be uh in the spirit of fear or a spirit of apologetic spirit because we're afraid that esau is going to take away our platform take away our money you know when we know that this whole system is collapsing hyperinflation economic collapse uh, the political system is collapsing. Infrastructure is collapsing. I mean, what, what else? You name it. All right? Relationships with all of these different other kingdoms is collapsing. Nobody wants to fucking deal with this devil. Because why? He's being revealed. All right? Let me see if I can get that. Psalms. I think it's Psalm 64. This devil, is, his own tongue is turning on him. Okay, Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. See, you got Esau telling on his own uh, on Esau now. 
All right, and you got Jake's telling on Esau, and you got everybody bringing out Esau, uh, all the wickedness of Esau via this internet. All right, so they can't get away with the same things uh, they get away with. That's why it says that this devil, according to Romans 12 and 12, it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and, and ye that dwell therein them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he know it that he had but a short time. All right. And that's what this devil is going to do. He's going to come down on the uh, on, on, on Israel. But not only Israel, he's going to come down on the man of the Lord. All right. A great insurrection. And I'm going to get that. But before that, Jeremiah 30 and 7. Uh, at last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, right? That elect is going to be saved out of it, okay? Um, let's go to Second Ezra, chapter 16, and we're going to skip down all the way to 60. Sixty-eight. For behold, that burning wrath of great multitude is kindled over you. All right, that's Esau and these UN troops. All right, they're going to come down on you with a great wrath. Uh, that burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. Why? Because they're ready to tear your fucking ass up. And they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered into idols. They're going to be taking you out of your house, throwing you in FEMA camps, throwing you on a bus or on a train, and shipping your ass to FEMA camps for re-education purposes to either kill your ass or put that radio frequency identification chip in your ass, okay? Verse 69, And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in, in reproach and trodden on the feet. All right? So you think you're going to save your life by, by agreeing with them and taking the radio frequency identification chip. But actually, in actuality, you're going to be caught in a trap. And you, you're going to die horribly. Okay? Because that signifies that you, that you, uh, that you are the, the, the cattle of Esau. That Esau is your God. Verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. All right. So who's those that fear the Lord? You eat, you, you are Israelites. All right. Y'all fear the Lord. Y'all the ones when y'all find money or get a new job, always give credit to, to the Lord. All right. You don't know his name, but you give credit to the Lord because it's built in you. All right, but who really fears the Lord out of the Israelites? A hundred and four forty-four thousand and one third. All right, the elect. All right, so they coming for the elect. All right, and all the rest of the uh uh uh, uh all the rest of Israel. All right, the two thirds also. Okay, you gonna get caught up in this shit. All right, most of the elect are gonna get saved out of this. All right, and if they die, they're gonna be the first ones on those chariots coming back to kill something. To you know, first ones on those chariots. So it's a win-win. All right. So for there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Verse seventy-one. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. Madmen mean they're gonna be crazy out here, man. Busting in your house, shooting your kid in the face. Raping your wife, raping your daughter, slitting your dog's throat, killing you right in front of your family, or killing your whole family right in front of you, throwing you on FEMA camps, taking you under in the FEMA camps, putting you under a guillotine, a, a, a gas chamber, all right, who knows, but still spalling and destroying those that fear the Lord, all right, so this man about to get dirty, verse 72, for they shall waste and take away their goods, and cast them out of their houses. So he's going to take away your your goods. Whatever he want. He's going to be able to do it. Alright. Them UN troops. Esau. All these other nations. They're going to fuck this place up man. Alright. And they're going to do what the fuck they want to do. Okay. Alright. On you Israelites. And predominantly you are the, uh, the, uh, on the Israelites and on the men of the Lord. 
okay? Two-thirds of Israel and on the men of the Lord, all right? That fear the Lord. And verse 73, Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Yeah, man. You're going to know that we are we uh, who the true men of the Lord is, right? All right? And we're going to get tried, man. All right? We're going to get tried with that RFID chip, man. And if you take it, you are not a man of the Lord. All right? You are not a man of the Lord if you take that radio frequency identification chip. The man of the Lord ain't going to take that. All right? Verse 74. Hear ye, my beloved, said the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. So the Lord got, a, got the men of the Lord's back, man. We don't have nothing to be afraid of because he angels encamp the ones around the ones who fear him. Verse 75, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your God and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord Yahweh by our side. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift themselves up. All right. So your how by Simi outside is going to guide us. Who keeps his precept? The men of the Lord, 144,000. All right. And one third. They're going to be saved from this destruction. All right. Let's go to another one. Second Ezra chapter two. This is one of my favorite ones. Chapter two and 26. I bring this out a lot. Uh, second Ezra 2 and 26, as for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall none of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. Now we know some of us are going to be mortars, but most of us are not going to perish. Why? Because Yahweh by Simeon's side requires us, all right, <laughs> out that number, all right, 27, be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh. Others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, said the Lord. My hands shall cover thee, so that the children shall not see hell. All right? So the Lord got us. He got his men. All right? People like this, uh, Nick Cannon and uh, let's see who the other guy is. Uh, Nick Cannon, all these celebrities, really, man. Uh, Jamel Hill, Deshaun Jackson, the other guy, uh, man, all these celebrities that come out and say the truth and then they backpedal. Hey, they don't have no, they don't have no substance. They don't have this truth. All right. They just getting pieces and, and, and pieces, bits and pieces and running with it. All right. And when they bring it out, it hurt the fucking Amalekites. And that's why they have to get punished, man. That's why they have to get punished. Okay, all right, and Nick Cannon, it says, Nick Cannon let go from Viacom, CBS over anti-Semitic comments, all right, so guess what, now they're trying to punish this nigga and let him know he's a nigga, and he shouldn't be speaking shit, he shouldn't be speaking the truth, okay, and that's what's going to happen to all you niggas that sold out and, and try to come out with this truth, okay? That's a blessing that, that the truth's coming out, but they still going to get you niggas, all right? Esau still going to get you niggas and, and persecute you niggas because you, he's the one backing you up, all right? But Nick Cannon probably like, man, this is the end. I don't give a fuck, so I'm just going to bring out everything. Anything that I know about the Hebrew Israelites, I'm going to bring it out and say, fuck it, man. But with that, I hope this was edifying to the hopeful elect. I like to say, Ka Halal Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Sai, Bahasim, Hot, Rakar Kadus. Salawam Akim, Ababa Ball, Kwam Yasarala. Almost out of here.